So it's dreary, gloomy, and I thought rather than sit in bed all day and sulk in these feelings of staying inside and self-isolating, I would create a photo, a surreal photo, that tries to capture what I'm feeling today and then put it on my Instagram. I've been focusing so much on Vita that I've kind of neglected my Instagram, and I like the audience on my Instagram. I really like the people there and the comments that they leave, so I'm going to focus on Instagram and make a behind-the-scenes video of the photo I'm going to be taking. First, I have to change. All right, next, let's set up the lights and get the camera in position. Bam! Swap out the 50 for the stock lens. Boom! One of my favorite painters is Dolly. I think he's phenomenal, and not just painters, I mean, just artist, overall artist. His photo work was just as surreal as his painting work. You have to keep in mind some of the photography work that he pulled off he did way before Photoshop was even a thought. And I'm not at all trying to insinuate that I can be as good as him or come anywhere near his work, but he's definitely one of the people that inspires me the most when it comes to photos or ideas for cool photos. So I just had a thought and we'll try it out, see what happens. I have the best frame that I'm gonna get given the space limitations, but we make do with what we can. Thank goodness for the 10 second self timer feature on this camera. I'm going to hit the button, run to my set, pose, take a photo and then probably do that 20 times until I get a shot that I like. All right, I think this is the one. I'm a little bit winded, but we'll see what we can do with that. I'm at the laptop, going to import some of those photos into my computer. Shout out to Zach Esau. Zach, I miss you very much, buddy. I miss shooting with you. These times are crazy and I hope you're keeping well. Can't wait to get back together and do some more photo projects. Zach has taken some of my favorite photos, period. The guy is a photography genius. His editing skills, his eye for photo taking, just overall super talented guy. I will link his Instagram in the description. This idea that I had is very much inspired by some of the work that Zach and I have done together. Here's an example of a photo that he took of Tiff and I on a beach and then edited using art by my friend Stefano Bove, who's a super talented visual artist. Miss you, Zach. Hope you're doing well, man. All right, so this is the raw file. I'm going to first crop it down to what I need it to be. And then I'm gonna play with some of the settings on the right here, exposure, contrast, shadows, clarity, etc. Let's take away this green screen. I am by no means a professional with this. All I know is that I really like doing it. There's so much more I can learn to be faster and better at this, but I'm just having some fun to make an Instagram post. All right, there's my image without the green screen. I'm gonna add a surreal background and do some final touch-ups and see how this thing turns out. So I had the idea that there is clouds and kind of this post-apocalyptic feel in the back in terms of color schemes, maybe a door in the far distance or a train or something like that. So I'm gonna find some royalty-free backgrounds and images that I can interimpose into the image. Oh, cool. I just found this really cool, eerie, abandoned metro station feeling photo. So that's the photo here. I think this is going to have a little bit of a Buster Keaton vibe to it. A little bit too big. Bring this down a little bit with the size and then the angle. That's not too, too bad. I don't love it, but it's something. I'm gonna go ahead and save that real quick. I think I'm gonna do a couple different photo ideas and just see which one people like more. Here's a cool desert background looking thingy with some cracked earth. That's not a bad start. I'm gonna play with the actual background to make the colors a little bit more gloomy and desolate. I found this cool, surreal looking door frame. I'm actually really excited about how the second one turned out. I will post them both to Instagram right now. Let me know in a comment in Instagram which one you prefer, the first or the second one. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's not fire juggling, but this is the amount of work that goes into just making one Instagram post. Not that every Instagram post is this much work, obviously, but I do try to keep a fairly consistent, professional, and fun-looking page on Instagram. So do head over there, and I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Actually, Zach, I just had an idea. I'm gonna send you the photo on the green screen and give you some days, take as much time as you need, and come up with something with that photo, and I will pay you in canned goods and toilet paper. So, a little behind schedule when it comes to posting slash publishing a video, but it's all because this wonderful man has agreed to help me, and it was a lot more work than I think I ever expected or you expected. <laughs>
Just sometimes After Effects files just aren't cooperative. It's this guy's birthday today. It's after midnight, so thank you for helping me with the intro. Hey, man. Uh, we're going to take a look at it. This is AK and Tiff's first time seeing this intro. I have no idea how good it is. Here we go. That's the first one. Wow. They're so good. They're so good. I think I like the second one the most. You like it with the words? Yeah. 